I love Google. Let's get that out of the way first. I mean, you're watching this video on YouTube for goodness sakes. But from a security standpoint, it doesn't make sense to trust one company with every aspect of your digital life. I mean, think about this for a minute. You can use Gmail for email, YouTube for entertainment, Google Chrome to browse the internet, Google Maps for navigation, Google Drive for cloud storage, Google Sheets and Docs for... Well, you get the point. These are all great products, but for many reasons, including your personal online security, you might not want to put all of your digital eggs in one basket. You know what I mean? So let's look at some practical ways that we can reduce our reliance on Google. Number one, ditch Google Chrome. I know how fast it is, I know how easy it is to use, but you don't understand how much of what you're doing online is being tracked, even if it's only anonymously, when you use Google Chrome. What you may not realize is that there are a number of great alternatives to Chrome, including Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, which is what I use, Brave, which is an open source option, or even Tor, which is a more secure way to browse the internet. There's no denying the fact that Google uses Chrome to gather data on how users search and browse the internet. And if you don't want to be a part of that, then the best thing you can do is ditch Chrome for one of the alternatives. Number two, if you're not willing to ditch Chrome, then the least that you can do is stop using the Google Chrome password manager. I know it's convenient and I know that it's just as secure as any other option out there, but the fact remains that browser-based password managers are vulnerable because anybody who has access to your computer automatically has access to those passwords. The good news here is that there are great password manager alternatives that you can use. I've gone into detail in this video here, but just know there are some free open source ones like Bitwarden and even some great premium ones like 1Password that I recommend. Just know this, when you get asked by your browser, do you want to save this password, just click no. Number three, try a different email client. Now, I'm not saying get rid of Gmail altogether. Heck, I have a number of Gmail accounts that I continue to use, and I use it for my business as well. But I also have a secure email account that I use for my banking or for any extremely sensitive email stuff that I want to do. This means that if someone hacks into my Gmail account, they don't automatically have access into the sensitive things that I do, like my banking, my investment, or even my personal communications that I want to keep private. Again, there are some great alternative options here, including ProtonMail, which is what I use and recommend, Tutanota, or even the free options like Outlook, Yahoo, or iCloud Mail. You don't have to move all of your email away from Gmail, but it might not be a bad idea to separate out your most sensitive email communications and logins to that secured, separated email account. Number four, move away from using Google Drive to store all of your personal documents. And I know this is hard because of how convenient they make it if you're already a Gmail or a Chrome user to upload and store everything in the cloud, but there are some great cloud-based alternatives. Think of things like Dropbox, OneDrive, or Tresserit, all of which offer secure, convenient ways to store your files online. If you're already wanting to move to a VPN, you could use something like IPVanish that comes with a free SugarSync account that offers you hundreds of gigabytes of free online storage. All I'm saying is that you don't have to use Google Drive. There are ways that you can reduce your reliance on that online storage and use something that's a free alternative. Number five, consider searching for things online using something other than the Google homepage. Microsoft's Bing search engine is something that continues to get better and better every year. Yahoo is, well, they're still around. And then you've got something like DuckDuckGo, which is a very privacy-focused search engine that doesn't store any of your search history. The problem here is that Google Search is hands down the best option on the market right now. But if you're using Google Chrome while signed into your Gmail account and using Google Search, you are handing so much data about what you're doing over to Google on a silver platter. Now, maybe you really value all of this convenience, and I get that. But keep in mind that convenience is the enemy of security. And finally, my last suggestion is that you move away from YouTube for all of your entertainment. I have been informed that I made a grave error and I need to apologize for what I just said. YouTube is an excellent resource and I highly recommend you continue to watch as many videos as possible. All right, all kidding aside, if you've looked around, you know that there aren't many great alternatives to YouTube. Dailymotion, Vimeo, they just don't have the breadth and quality of content that YouTube does. What you can do if you're worried about your privacy is maybe search around on YouTube when you're not logged into your Gmail account or even in an incognito mode on your browser. I'm sure there are plenty of other ways to reduce your reliance on Google, and if you have something that I've missed here, put it in the comments below and go ahead and check the comments to see what other people have said, and maybe this community can kind of help you each other out here. If you enjoyed this video, the best thing you can do right now is like it and subscribe to the All Things Secured YouTube channel where I'm going to be providing weekly videos on online security tips.